Today we're going to walk through how to optimize a SoundCloud profile, set it up correctly for maximum SEO benefit. So what you're going to do is you're going to have the profile set up with a description and then you're also going to put the name in here, the address and the phone number. Now why we do that is that will help the Google map listing rank higher because of the name, address, and phone number. This is called a citation. So you make sure that you have the citation in the description area. And then we wanna make sure that each one of these social links is in here. Now, we're gonna go back and use Carolina Health and Aesthetics in each one of these social profiles because we want to make sure that we get the brand name in each one of these links. And then we're going to remove the email because that's a wasted link spot. So we're going to link up uh, maybe a Yelp listing or a Facebook. So Facebook's in here. That's a great local listing. Has a chance to show up in Google. The Yelp listing has a chance to show up in Google. Those are powerful local citations. And then the very most important thing about this profile is making sure to add tracks. If you do not add a track to the page, then the profile will not get indexed by Google. So it's very important to add a track or this is all for naught. Uh, it's just wasted time. So make sure to add a track to your profile. In the image section, um, you have a profile image and then you have individual track images. So you can add a profile image and you wanna make sure to get a, an image that's geotagged or you can geotag that image using a, uh, a piece of software. There's tons out there. Google Photos, um, Apple Photos uh, has some geotag capabilities. Just find one that allows you to add a geotag. You can just go to Google and type in geotag my photo and it'll show you a ton of things. So make sure to geotag this photo to your address and then you want to make sure to uh, obviously upload a track. So uh, one, one thing we're going to do is walk through these settings real quick of some things that are important. You want to make sure that you choose your category and you also want to make sure that this box is checked. Include an RSS feed. So that is the only thing that you need to do in settings to get everything prepared for when you upload tracks. Now I've already uploaded one and when we go to this page we want to add a little bit of a unique description now i actually got this from transcribing this track on a service called rev.com that allows you to transcribe uh different audio clips that you upload so we go here it has the speaker name if we want to add speaker names the timestamps and then the paragraphs of text. So I just grabbed this first paragraph of text, went over to SoundCloud and added that into the description section. And then you wanna make sure that you add for more information on subject name, visit, and then point a link to the page where this track is going to be embedded. So we want to, um, if we go into the edit section of this track, we can add tags, which is important. I added a custom genre because there wasn't a health category, strangely enough. And then you wanna make sure the title is whatever keywords that make sense that you would like for this track to help with. Erectile dysfunction, male sexual health. And then you can set the URL. This will set it for the title by default. So if you set your title correctly, you won't have to change the permalink, but you can set that here if you'd like to add some more uh, information in the URL there. Then your description section, we went over that. Make sure it's public, and then go to the metadata. We wanna make sure, yes. Um, you don't have to fill out any of this. If you want to, you can put the artist, the publisher, and all this. Uh, but for the purposes we're talking about, we just want to make sure that under permissions it says include an RSS feed. This will kind of link everything together um, and give it a little bit more juice. So after this is all set up, 
Um, and again, in this section, we can upload an image that's geotagged and renamed for the topic. So we may rename our image file uh, to be erectile dysfunction.jpg, erectile dysfunction.png, whatever type it is is fine. And then you'll upload it here. And that'll be the track image. If you don't upload an image here, what it does is it uses the profile image from your main profile. So if we go back to the profile, you'll see that our image is this one right here. That image gets applied to every uh, track cover and whatever this name is is going to be here and then also on this page so it's not a bad thing but for SEO purposes um, what you'll do is you will uh, have a custom file if you have a Shutterstock account the best thing to do um, let's just put rectile dysfunction and it'll probably, you know, have some funny images or, you know, this or that. So you can do, you know, this right here, download that image. It'll probably be named, um, you know, correctly. So download the image from Shutterstock, rename it if you need to, um, to match the subject of the page and then upload that as the track image. That's pretty much uh, what you need to do for the track. So now that that is set, we're going to go back to the profile and we're gonna make sure that each one of these actually has the brand name. So we're gonna paste that in there. And it might be too long for some of these cases, but we are going to try. So we're gonna hit save. Perfect. So we got this here. Obviously the email, we're going to take that out because it only allows you to have 10 links. So now we have another spot to link to something else. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over to Google and I'm going to grab Help Aesthetics. Yep. And let's see. Uh, you may need to add a location. Oops. Let's see. Da -da 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 -da. Maybe add Duncan. Health specialist. Well, this is their website. So maybe you don't find a Yelp. Or it may need to be, um, this may need to be one that needs to be renamed. But in any fashion, you grab the Yelp listing if that is available. If they have not set up a Yelp page, uh, you may want to try Manta. Um, or, yep, so there's a Manta. Uh, Manta is a local profile that also ranks really well. Um, in Google so what we can do is grab that pull this over here drop that and then we're gonna grab one of these and we're just gonna put Manta there we go so now all these links are going to be sending a little bit of power to each one of these profiles and then when you go to these profiles they also point back to the original site um, via a website link or a direct link uh, however it points back so we are going to go back here and that is how you optimize a profile very simple uh, simple and easy steps to optimize your SoundCloud profile for maximum SEO benefit what we need to do with the individual tracks to maximize for SEO benefit and then when we get all that done on SoundCloud you will simply embed that link to the page. So let me log in and I will show you with Elementor how to embed that and set this up for maximum SEO benefit. So once we're logged in with Elementor, 
onto the page that's about the topic that we have the um, the top the sorry audio clip for. We'll come down here and we will add a section that just says from our staff um, and you can title it whatever you want to and we're going to look for SoundCloud and Elementor has a built-in uh, embed code all we need to do is go to the page grab the link and come back here and we just put the link right there and you'll see that it links up erectile dysfunction has all this information on here we can actually take away um, a lot of this information here so we can take away download artwork share button comments play counts username now I would not take away username to make sure to have a username because that'll link back to your profile giving it a little bit more power so I would keep that and then when you uh, put the Shutterstock image, rename that, it'll go here and add more. This whole track will add more relevance to this page. So what this embed does is it actually acts like a backlink from SoundCloud and passes a little bit of power to this page. So the next thing we want to do is we want to add a toggle right below that and this is more for like user experience so this is going to be um, read the transcript or whatever you want to call it now what this is going to do is this is going to get all of our text onto the page now this is going to add more words to the page which is going to allow it to rank for more items uh, in Google, more keywords. Uh, let's drop this in here. Just kidding. Let's do it this way in the text area. Then we come back to visual. It'll look like that. All right. So now um, you've got the toggle here, which can be closed by default, open by default. Um, and you got all your styling options in Elementor that you can have there. So you can have the title match the brand color. Um, you can do all sorts of things with that. So have fun playing with that. Let's see. This has some active icons. You can change all the icons if you want to. I'm fine with what's there. I'm also going to toggle on this FAQ schema, which puts the it wraps the toggle in. FAQ schema and schema is the markup language that shows um, the questions and additional features in Google search so like rich snippets um, and other schema type items if you've ever seen price availability location information something that's uh, something that shows up in Google that is other than the title the description and the URL is probably pulling from schema so what we're going to do is we're going to update this page and it's okay if it's if it's not you know if, it, if it's open by default that's fine um, it's more for user experience but again the idea is to have this embed which gives you a little bit of power back from SoundCloud because again we've optimized everything on this page and we have a link back to this page where it's embedded and then we have the transcript here which adds more text to this page allowing it to rank for more keywords so that is how you maximize your SoundCloud profile for SEO benefit as well as embedding it for SEO benefit on the website because the end result we all want is higher rankings in Google which leads to more traffic, which leads to more sales. So that's how you optimize your SoundCloud profile, get everything integrated. Hope you liked this video. If you did, like, subscribe, and we'll see you in the next one. Bye.